when we talk about quadratic word problems, <clears throat> it's really just a matter of finding certain things on the graph. This is actually not as scary as it sounds. The air test never asks you to write equations for quadratic functions, but they love asking for you to solve them. So there's a couple key vocab words. Anytime you see the starting point or the initial value, that is really the y-intercepts. Anytime it's asking you for the maximum or the minimum, it's asking you for the vertex. Anytime a problem talks about landing or reaching the grounds or asking how long was something in the air, it is looking for an x-intercept. And what's more, it's usually the one on the right. It's usually talking about where it landed, so things move from left to right. So if you're talking about the landing point, that is the one on the right-hand side. And then if the equation gives you a specific number, is it asking you to either solve for x equals that number, or it's asking you to solve for y equals that number. So this is looking for the crossing points in Desmos, right, where you type in your equation, you type in x equals, or you type in y equals, and you see where they cross. Just as a quick reminder, time is always x, total is always y. So if it asks you after six seconds, that is a time measurement, so you would do x equals. If it asks you a total of $28, that is a total, so it would be y equals. So I have the first example here. Your nephew is standing on his deck, which is four feet off the ground. He tosses his toy up into the air at an initial velocity of 7 feet per second. It says the equation, so I'm just going to underline that. It models the toy's height, h, in feet from the ground at t seconds after he threw it. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this into Desmos. And then I'm going to try and juggle this so I can get everything on my screen at once. h equals negative 2t squared plus 7t plus 4. So the first question says, how high is the toy after one second? So you'll notice that it gives us a specific number. So it's asking me to either do x equals or y equals. It gave me one second, so that's a time measurement. So I am going to look where x equals 1 and find the crossing point. So if I look at the crossing point on Desmos, they cross at 1, 9. So that would be 9 as my answer, 9 feet, since that's what I am measuring the height in. Part B says, what is the toy's maximum height? And that word maximum right there is my clue. The word maximum as telling me to look for the vertex. So the vertex of this is here. It says, what is the height? So remember, x is the time, y is the total. And since I'm looking for a total height, the answer is going to be 10.125. And then part C says, how long is the toy in the air? How long is something in the air is really looking for an x-intercept. I'm looking for where I land. And again, we follow graphs from the left, we throw it, and then it lands. So how long it was in the air is going to be the x-intercept on the right, and in this case that is 4 seconds because we are measuring the time in seconds. For the next one, it says a carnival attraction tests your strength by how far in the air you can drive a weight with a hammer. If the weight reaches 15 feet, you win a prize. It gives us an equation here, so I'm going to give this guy into Desmos. y equals negative 16x squared plus 31x plus 2. Uh, and then you can tell that I copy-pasted. It's All of these are supposed to say what is the weight, uh, what is the weight, how high is the weight after one second, what is the weight's maximum height, and how long is it in the air. You can tell this one looks a little bit different, but same idea. One second is a time measurement, and it is a specific number. So this will be x equals 1 and find where they cross. 
and they cross at 17 feet. Which, by the way, does mean that we win the prize. Uh, the toy's maximum height, you will notice, is at the vertex. It is, I'm um, sorry, this is really asking for the vertex. Maximum is a vertex kind of a word. The maximum height is 17.016 feet. No rounding. And for how long is the toy in the air? That is the x-intercept, which would be after two seconds. <laughs> 